Hi guys, welcome to Coinant Studio. In today's video, we're going to be talking about bulk uploader, which is the sixth automation recipe in Coinant Studio. So first of all, let me explain what bulk uploader does and why is it necessary for your content marketing. So bulk uploader lets you pre-plan content in bulk and schedule it for your social channels using a CSV file. You basically have to plan your content in, in your CSV file and then upload it to the system. The system processes your file and schedules your content according to your date and time. With that being said, let's see how you can do all this using the bulk uploader feature. So we are in the automation section in Content Studio and go to bulk uploader and click on new upload. So here comes the first step where you have to upload a CSV file in which you'll have all your content planned. By the way, you can upload up to 500 posts at a time via a single CSV upload. You can see in the image that your CSV file must contain date and time, the message, image URL, and the link URL. The system has a template CSV file which you can download and fill it according to your requirements. As I have already downloaded the CSV file, let me open it. Okay, now let me explain each column in the CSV file which you have to fill. So first of all, we have the column of date and time. In this column, you have to enter the date and time in, and you have to take care of the format. You have to strictly take care of the format. It could either be in day, month, year or month, day, year format. So you enter the date and time for the post that you want to schedule. The next column is for the message. This column lets you add the messages to your posts, which are also known as the captions and uh, you can customize messages for your post in various kind of ways. And I'll explain all these types for you. So firstly, you can create a text only post. In this type of post, you have to write your message or caption in the message column. It could be anything, any text or any thought that you want to share on your social channels. Okay, the next type of post is text with image post. If you want to create a post in which you want to add an image and some text along with it, you can do that by adding your custom text in this column and then you can add the image URL in the next column. The next type of post is text with link preview. If your post has a link and you want to add some message with it, enter your message here and the link in the fourth column. The next type of post is text with custom image on link preview. So if you want to create a post in which you want to add a link, a custom image and the message, you have to enter your message or caption in this column and then image and link URL in the next two columns respectively. The next column is the image URL. And as explained earlier, if you want to create a post in which you want to add an image, then you have to add your image link in this column. The next column is the link, which is any public link. It could be of any articles, blogs, or videos, anything that you want to share. One thing that I'd like to add here is that Content Studio now lets you create multilingual posts. You can add posts in any language and schedule them for your social channels. So when you're done finalizing your CSV file, then you have to upload it to the system. And then you have to click next. So in the next step, you have to select the social channels for which you want to create your posts. Okay, I'll select my social channels and then click on next. So in the next step, you have to schedule, you have to select the scheduling options for your post that you have created. Uh, we have three options here. You can either use the recurring scheduler, custom scheduler, or the queue scheduler. Let's discuss these one by one. The first option is the recurring scheduler. 
If you choose this option, the date and time entered by you in the CSV file will be ignored and the post in your file will be scheduled according to the recurring time that you enter. You can choose to select your post according to hours, days or weeks. For example, if you want to create a post every three hours, select three and hours is already selected. You could also choose to select your schedule time according to hours, days and weeks. So the next option is the custom scheduler. Here you can allow the bulk uploader to make use of the date and time that you entered in the first column of your CSV file. One thing to take care of here is that you have to choose the same format as you chose in your CSV file. Your selected time format and how the system interprets it can be shown in the image below. The next option is the queue scheduler which lets you schedule content according to the queue that you have created for social posting and the date and time entered by you in the CSV file will be ignored in this case as well. Okay, I want to use the same date and time as entered in the CSV file, so I'll select the second option and then click on next. Okay, now your file is being processed by the system. Okay, now you can see that all your posts that you planned in the CSV file they appear here with the same description as you entered in the message column and the date and time that you entered in the date and time column, the image or link URL that you entered in the respective columns. You must make sure of the status. It should have a green tick in front of each post, which means that this post is fine and it has no errors. Okay, uh, if you want to edit a post, you can select the pencil icon in front of the post and then edit it according to your requirement. You can see that your post is opened in the composer editor and you can choose to add labels, members, add any kind of comments or schedule it differently, anything you want. And then you can perform a bulk action. You can either approve or delete your post. So once your posts are approved, an OK message will appear. And if you have to view the schedule posts in the planner, you can go to planner. And then filter by the type CSV automation posts. And all your schedule posts will appear here according to your CSV file. So that's it for today. I hope this video was helpful to you. Until next time, take care.